In this video, we will be studying about the digestion and absorption in the small intestine. See, after your food gets digested into the stomach, then what happens? It enters a long winding tube below stomach. called the small intestine right it is the last step of digestion that takes place in the small intestine now what happens that your muscles in the small intestine mix food with more digestive juices some juices are secreted now what happens in in small intestine now your food is mixed with is mixed with more digestive juices Now some juice is secreted by the cells of the small intestine and after that some are the juices that are secreted by liver. Now it is the largest part of your body and the other juices are secreted by the pancreas. Now your liver secretes the juice named as bile juice which is stored in the it is stored in your gallbladder now what does this bile juice do this bile juice break up fats into tiny droplets that can be digested and absorbed more easily now what this bile juice does bile juice breaks up fats into tiny droplets that can be digested digested and absorbed more easily right now the digestive juices then act on these tiny droplets to form simpler compound known as fatty acids and glycerol now what your pancreas do they secrete pancreatic juice Now this changes start and what does this pancreatic juice does? It changes starch that is present in your food into simple sugars and proteins. Into simple sugars and proteins. Into simpler compounds called amino acid amino acids these are required for your muscles of the body now absorption small intestine see whatever food you eat is absorbed uh, in your small intestine by your body now the uh, digested food is absorbed by the small intestine. Now absorption of food occurs through thousands of small figures like uh, finger like projections in the inner wall of the small intestine. These projections are known as villi. Now let's suppose this is your, the wall of your small intestine. right? Now there are finger like projections 
in this wall of small intestine these are known as villi right so absorption of food occurs through thousands of small finger like projections in the inner wall of the small intestine now these projections are known as villi right this increases the surface area of absorption of digestive food now e each villus has a network of fine blood capillaries close to the surface now the food absorbed on the surface of the villus passes into the blood in the capillaries and then it is transferred to the rest of the part of the body through your blood capillaries so so the blood capillaries attached to your intestine helps in the transportation of digested food to different parts of your body i hope you have understood this do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us